Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing some of my favorite things from the month of May. I just have a couple to share, but I wanted to make this video anyway, even though it's probably gonna be short or long if I end up talking really long like right now. Let's get into it. The first thing I wanted to share with you guys is a YouTube channel and it's called Pickup Limes. It's run by Sadia, who's a licensed dietitian and nutritionist, and she posts about veganism and plant-based recipes. I absolutely love Sadia's channel. It's funny because I just found her last month, and she was at around 19,000 subscribers, and I was thinking as I was watching her channel that she deserved so many more subscribers because her content is so wonderful and high quality. And then I checked back again before I made this video, and she's at almost 2,000, or more than 2,000 subscribers. So that's awesome. Congratulations to you, Sadia. And I would highly recommend you guys checking out her channel. I really love Sadia's channel because she's a nutritionist and because of that, she's just a wealth of knowledge when it comes to eating a plant-based diet. Her videos for the most part are short and topical and they're just so beautifully filmed and put together and she's just such a calm personality. I really just love watching her videos. A lot of her recipe videos are sort of a compilation of a bunch of different ideas. For example, lunch ideas or snack ideas or breakfast ideas, things like that. And I love that because I end up getting so inspired because she posts so many different ideas in just one short video. So yeah, definitely check out her channel it's super high quality and the information is really just easy to take in and I really have been loving her videos the next thing I wanted to share with you guys is a product and it's this little lip and cheek stain from URB apothecary or herb apothecary herb I don't know <laughs> URB apothecary is how I'm pronouncing it I could be completely wrong but I really love this product because Number one, it's packaged in a compostable little tube. Um, I shared this briefly in my packing video a couple of videos back, so I'll link that for you guys. Um, I said in that video that I'm not sure if the sticker is compostable. I don't think it is, but the package itself is, and I love that, and I really appreciate that. This brand's from Santa Cruz, California, which is so fun. I love being able to support brands that are from my home state of California, um, and I just really appreciate brands that are taking the initiative to be responsible for their packaging. It's so important, obviously, when we're trying to create a more circular economy, right? It's to have the brands be responsible for their packaging or put their product in packaging that's compostable. As you can see, it looks like a very deep rose shade in the tube, but when I put it on, it's much lighter, which I'm fine with. I think that's nice. I don't know if you guys can tell because I have sort of bright lights on me right now, but I'm wearing it on my cheeks today, and I really like the sort of light rose um, color that it is. I also wear it on my lips a lot. I'm obviously not wearing it on my lips today, but again, it's just a really nice, light, um, sort of natural color. I actually found out about this brand on Instagram and then I looked on their website and found that they were actually sold in a store that's like two miles away from my house which is cool I was able to buy locally which is always a good thing too and products like this are just so they're just my favorite things that can do more than one thing because it makes it so convenient when I'm storing it or traveling with it it's just easy to have one thing that can do more than one thing and speaking of being smart about storage and stuff I don't know if this is really a segue but I'm just making it into one my next favorite for the month of May and going into the summer too is decluttering so I definitely don't have a lot of stuff to declutter. When I first started getting into minimalism or being a conscious consumer a few years ago, it was ridiculous the amount of stuff I had. But that was my life. I didn't know anything different. And back then, I didn't think that I could ever be someone who didn't have a lot of things because I thought that my joy and whatever, like my my happiness came from the things I have, which sounds silly, but that's how I lived my life back then. Obviously, it's different today, and I'm so happy about that, but I think it's really important to remember that if you aren't really vigilant about the things that you bring into your home, clutter is going to start creeping up on you, and I've noticed that it has started creeping up on me in the last couple months there are things around my house that i just don't use anymore don't need so i've been taking the last couple weeks to really be on top of my game when it comes to going through my stuff so right now i'm going through my beauty products again you guys will have known this if you saw my packing video 
and I'm also sort of going through my clothes again and stuff in the kitchen. I don't want things to pile up just because. I only want to keep things that I use and love and I want to give away or donate or sell things that aren't serving me anymore because I don't want to hold on to things that can be helping other people or things that maybe can serve other people better than they're serving me, if that makes sense. So I'd wanna encourage you guys to also do this. Um, even if you are someone who is a conscious consumer, I think it's always important to just stay mindful, you know, because stuff will creep up on you, sort of, no matter what stage of life you're in. That's my opinion, at least. So that is sort of a weird favorite, but something that's been on my mind a lot this last month, so I thought I'd include it in this video too. The last thing I wanted to share with you guys is a little essential oil hack. And this hack is you take a mascara wand and you take some lavender essential oil and you put a drop of your lavender essential oil into your mascara and then you just use it as you normally would. Lavender essential oil is antimicrobial and antifungal, so it can help with any sort of gross stuff that's maybe going on around your eyes or in your mascara itself. And another reason that you might wanna do this is because lavender oil can help your lashes or your hair grow thicker and stronger. So I've seen pictures online of people doing this for months and apparently they've had really great results from it. So I figured I might as well try because I use mascara and I have lavender essential oil so you know I'm not losing anything there I wouldn't do this with an essential oil that I didn't know was tested for purity though because you are putting it so close to your eyes um, and obviously you don't ever want to put essential oils in your eyes so use caution when you're using mascara like you normally would try not to poke your eyes because that's no fun even if you don't have lavender essential oil on your mascara wand so anyway I guess I'll keep you guys updated like I said I've just been doing this for a couple weeks so I haven't noticed I don't know, I don't think I've noticed anything. I also use castor oil on my eyelashes though, so I don't know, we'll see if I see any crazy results and I'll let you guys know, but I thought I'd mention it. I also really like it because I feel like I get a little burst of aromatherapy in the morning when I'm putting my mascara on because it does smell really good and it's very relaxing. So that's all I have for this favorites video. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing and thank you to those of you who are supporting me on Patreon as well. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.